coin. A global team of researchers has conduct has concluded that a coin is likely to land on the same side it started on 51% of the time, altering one of society's most traditional assumptions about random decision making. 해외 한 공동 연구진이 실험 끝에 무작위적인 의사 결정 방법인 동전 던지기를 했을 때 확률이 반반일 거라는 세간의 믿음과는 달리 동전은 처음 올려놓은 면으로 떨어질 가능성이 51%라는 결론을 내놨습니다. This is used in sports. You know, which American team's going to go first? Yep. Yeah, it can be used in the office. It can be used among friends. Sure. Who's going to do something first? What are we going to have for lunch? You know, but we now know, according to this study, it's not a hundred, uh, not fifty percent. Not fifty fifty. They're no. saying it's fifty point eight. So, so it's it's very very close. Fifty one forty nine. Uh, yes. Yeah, exactly. So the authors of this new paper, they conducted over 350,000 flips mm. and they used different coins, you know, to take out that bias. Yeah. Um, they also used a variety of people because mm. maybe they have a flipping bias. So they found regardless of the coin, if you take out the bias of the way someone might flip, it was 58, 50.8% that would land on the same side it started on. Now there is one caveat to this. Mm. What they the way they did it was you have the coin on your you flip it up in the air and just catch it. Yeah. So it's it's when you catch it, how does it land? Okay. But what most people do they, is catch the coin and then put it on their hand so you flip it over. Yeah. Then that reverses it. Yeah, it does. So then so then it's actually fifty point eight percent of the time. If you flip it, it's the bottom uh, side. And that's how most people do. It. That's how I do it. So it's actually yeah. so it's actually the bottom side might be better. Uh, 여러분 지금 잘 따라오고 계신가요? 이게 좀 복잡하게 들리긴 하는데 심플한 얘기예요. 뭐냐면은 우리가 쉽게 생각할 때 50대 50의 가능성으로 동전 던지기 했을 때 이게 헤드가 나오냐 테일이 나오냐 인줄 알았는데 정확하게 한 35만 번 던지기를 하면서 연구를 해 보니까 50이 아니라 51% 그딱 1% 정도의 오차가 아 우리가 그동안에 생각했던 것에 있었던 거죠. 51%의 가능성으로 처음 동전의 윗면이 던졌을 때그 윗면이 다시 내려올 가능성이 살짝 더 있다라는 겁니다. 네, 그래서 다음에 여러분이 이걸 생각하시면서 내가 어, 동전의 위쪽을 배팅할지 아래쪽을 배팅할지 <웃음> 확률로 한번 따져 보시길 바라겠어요. So we were off by one percent. You know, and it's not fifty-fifty. No, apparently not. <웃음> okay. So the main expressions would be first of all um, to alter. To alter something. To alter something, yeah. Simply to change. Yes. Change something. So you get a haircut, that might alter your appearance. Yeah. Um, we talk a lot about, you know, I'm sure people today, right, with, with, with the weather, it's raining, that might alter their plans, mm. right? Maybe you have to leave a little bit earlier yes. than normal to get to work. And mm. We also talk about, like, um, you can get your clothes altered. Yes. You can get, I need some alterations That's on right. my clothes. Then it's 옷 수선이라는 뜻이 됩니다. 그래서 uh, 보통은... 뭔가가 바뀌다, 변하다, alter your appearance, alter your plans, 이렇게 쓸 수도 있지만 또 I need to get my clothes altered, 이러면 옷 수선해야 돼, 이런 뜻이죠. Assumption은요? That is something that is believed to be true. Mm. We think it's true, we think it's correct. Right. But sometimes uh, assumptions can be wrong. That's right. 네, 추정하는 것들, 추측하는 거. 어, 당연히 동전 던지면 은 50대 50의 가능성으로 heads or tails 나올 줄 알았는데 그 assumption이 살짝 틀렸습니다. Let me read it one more time. A global team of researchers has concluded that a coin is likely to land on the same side it started on 51% of the time, altering one of society's most traditional assumptions about random decision-making. Okay, well, those were our headlines.